Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, Good morning Amber. Good morning, Lewis. Ralph. You want the mat down? Is that Seth? It is Seth. Best appearance. Good morning, Good morning Jim. Happy Tuesday. Good morning, Jerry. Jerry's here too. <clears throat> How's everyone doing today? Good. Are we super stoked and excited to work out? I'm yeah. very sore. I'm very yeah. sore. Right there. I like hearing that, Robin. Was that from yesterday? Yeah. You wouldn't know. You and Lewis didn't show up yesterday. I'm on a bike ride. Sure, a bike ride. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You might as well, especially since it's nice. And there's Rick. What? Am I invisible? I said hi to Amber. I said hi to you right away. I can't help it that you weren't listening to me, Amber. Hey, guess what? What? Harvey, uh, Harvey's and Cornelius. If you call them, that you can buy chicken, ground beef, salmon. Um, I'm just sharing because there's been no meat in the grocery stores, and I went by and picked up like eight chicken breasts last night and washed them in the freezer. Arby's Cornelius. <clears throat> it's a restaurant. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Amber, I know they have paper goods too. They do? <laughs> I heard you can get paper goods from them as well. I don't know if that's a rumor or not. I don't know about that. Okay. Maybe. I didn't know if you saw it when you were there. I didn't ask. Okay. Paper goods for a while, but. Well, everybody. Y'all ready? Let's go. That's the spirit. Let's do it. All right. You're going to start. You have your floor slides for 10. Your glue bridge is for 10, and then your thread the needles for 10. Eight. All right. I got to grab my cup of coffee. I think you're OK, Kim. All right, y'all, y'all do your business. Do your business. Guys. I hope that's not Lewis. Yeah. All right, look at y'all threading the needles. I opted for my water instead. I thought it would do a little better hydration. Good job, Kim. I'm trying to lead from the front, Seth. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so we threaded the needle. The only other thing you have to do is your adductor rocks. So leg goes out in front. And then you're coming back and forth, four, eight. Take your time, because these feel fantastic. Unless you have really tight adductors, then they probably don't feel that fantastic. <clears throat> it looks like it's going to rain today. Yep. Well, that's sad news. That's the only reason why Seth is joining us, huh? Because you can't ride your bike. 
I see it. I'm second choice. It's fine. I'll take it. I miss you, Kim. I knew it. That's because you never come to class at 6, 10 in the morning. This says you can't ride your bike in the rain. Why not? Um, I have a thing about wet tennis shoes. I don't know anything. Too right. slick. All right. So here's where we're going next. You're standing up. You know, this is, oh, no, you'll do this tomorrow, too. We'll switch on. We're switching at some point. You're gonna touch your toes. Walk your hands out. Push up to chaturanga. Walk back. Drop the butt down. Reach. Reach. And more of those. <laughs> Once you get through four of those, you're going to find your kettlebells. And your kettlebells, I'd like you to go for a heavy, the heaviest weight you have access to, okay? The heaviest. Um, and then I'm going to show you a few ways to make it more challenging if need be. All right, so once everyone is warm, well, I will say you're going to press it overhead. So, so you want to have your heaviest one for your deadlift, but then you're also going to have a strict press. So first exercise you're going to do, everyone grab your kettlebell. Can you just the other day? And then you're going to meet me in a half kneeling position, okay? So one leg's going down front, the other one is going to be tucked back. So what I want to make sure you do though is I don't want your toe down like this. I want your toe to be making contact with the ground. Yes, you're going to feel a little bit more stretch here in the quad and into the hip flexor, but that's good for you, so suck it up. So from here, arm is coming into the front rack position, all right? I do not have a sissy wrist because this is not allowed. So knuckles straight up to the ceiling. From here, I'm gonna make a fist with my other hand. I'm gonna exhale, press all the way up to the ear, slowly lower back down. All right? I want six of these. Yep, yep, yep. Six of those. Come all the way back down to the front rack. So don't just hang out here. I want you all the way back to the starting point and then all the way up, back down, yep. Once you get six of those, you're gonna go to the other side. Same position, make sure the back toe is down. All right, I'm going. Fist in one hand, exhale. Exhale, because I want you to engage your core. All right, your core should be really tight. There you go, you're gonna give me six, six right there. Now, we're gonna mix things up a little bit, because we can. So you're gonna take that heavy kettlebell, and you're gonna give me 12 swings. All right, 12 kettlebell swings. So you know, all of you know how to kettlebell swing very lovely. And I want 12 solid swings. Oops. Once you finish your 12 solid swings, you're going to put that kettlebell out in front of you. Uh, arms re reach away. Arms reach away. You're gonna pop up into a plank position. Notice that my feet are slightly wider than hips because my goal is to be as still as possible. And I'm gonna reach and tap for that kettlebell. All right, you're gonna give me 20 each side of those. Those are gonna be so much fun. I think, Lewis, you could push that kettlebell a little bit further forward. 
Yep, <laughs> going into the plank. And then you're reaching for that kettlebell. 20 each side. Same thing if necessary, just drop onto the knees. Side. Yeah, each side, Rick. What do you think this is? Christmas morning? <clears throat> okay. okay, those are the three exercises. Here's what you're going to give me. Four rounds of that. You just did one, but I want four extra ones. So five in total. Patty, you can stare at me all you want. Seth gave me thumbs up. That's sarcastic. Oh. Thanks, Seth. That's the spirit. Strict press is first. Half kneeling strict press, six on each side. Good. Now, let's say that weight is getting really, really heavy. If you have a dumbbell, switch. Or I will allow for you to stand up and strict press up because you can get a little momentum from the legs. Let's say that... It's not heavy enough. So if your weight is light, you're gonna take your smallest little band that you have, and you can tie it on there. It's gonna be a lot bigger, don't you? Then you can step on it and add the band. Hey, this might be too much. Yeah. Did you see the challenge for April? Yeah. What challenge for April? The Mets challenge. The global Mets challenge. The global Mets challenge. Yeah, I got the email. Hold on, let's see. I can participate. I'm gonna pull it up. I'll have swings. Swings. The Global Challenge 2.0. Yes, kettlebell swings are after your strict press. Good work, Rick. Good, Diane. There you go, Diane. Now remember, Diane, if that gets too much, stand up, okay? You'll get a little bit more momentum if you go all the way up on your feet. No, I'm good. So the Global Maps Challenge, for those that have not received the email, Raw Fitness has included you in the MyZone Global Maps, specifically designed to help you stay motivated and connected during these uncertain times. Simply earn 1,300 maps during April to be entered into the prize drawing for your chance to win cash prizes. So no one enter, okay? That way I can win the cash prize. Just kidding. <laughs> now, on those planks, let's evaluate your form. Is your butt slightly in the air? Are you shrugging your shoulders forward instead of packing them away from your ears? Okay, these are questions to be asking yourself. <clears throat> I'm perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> yes, I believe that 100%. Now, make sure on that press your ribs stay down. Squeeze your belly buttons in really, really tight. The other thing you're squeezing are your butt cheeks. Yeah, you can squeeze that cheek in that bent position. Okay, I'm gonna push that reaches over the alternator and stay with one arm. Alternate, back and forth. So one, one, yep, like Diane's doing in the back. Uh, I'm cheating. Now be careful on the planks that you don't let your hands come too far forward. What naturally happens, if I'm here, this is my, my right form. If I get tired and begin moving my shoulders back, where does my butt go? In the air. Yes. And do we want butts in the air? No. no. Good, there you go, Amber, perfect, perfect. All right.
right, so you guys have four rounds of this. You're going to have to keep me posted on what round you're on. Hey, Lewis, do me a favor and switch arms or legs. Switch legs. Oh, you're right. Yep, it needs to be opposite. There you go. Sorry, I didn't see that sooner. Good. There you go, Diane. Good, Robin. Y'all are fantastic. Good, Robin. Good control. Now, Patty, give me a little less hip action there. There you go. So squeeze your core really, really tight. And then pack your shoulder back and down to help you avoid that side to side shifting. Yeah, you can drop to your knees if you need to. Can you see Seth? I can't, I didn't see, I wasn't watching him. Seth, were your hips shifting? Oh, he's ready. Nope. Not a, not an inch. We're gonna okay. switch, we're gonna switch positions. You're gonna, yeah, switch positions, not oh. right. <laughs> oh. There you go, Lewis, good job. Pack the shoulders back away from your ears. Good, Rick. Careful of the shifts, the shifting. That's a terrible word to say on a computer screen, probably. <laughs> Amber, how are you holding up? You can just give me a thumbs up. I see you're muted. You must be playing music. ourselves. There you go. Good, Robin. Perfect. Now we can talk. Now, does anyone have too light of a kettlebell? If so, you can give me more reps. That'd be one way to make it more challenging. Or I'll tell you to go slower on your tempo. So, but if, raise your hand if you're having too light of kettlebell. I don't think anyone is. Yeah, you don't appear to be. You can see if you can find that. Yeah, the plank taps are 20%. That is correct, Miss Diane. There you go. Good press. Good, Rick. There you go. Keep your ribs down, Rick. You know what I'm watching for. Good, Lewis. Good, Robin. Good swings. Now, if your swings are really light, you can go a little, go for longer. Do 20 reps. <laughs> Good. So just a reminder, six <coughs> half any strict presses, 12 kettlebell swings, and then you have 20 plank reaches, kettlebell reach, tap, whatever. What did I call them? Plank kettlebell reaches. <laughs> Are you on your fourth or the one we did together? Oh, the one we did together. Yeah, so it's going to be you have to do four on your own. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, yeah the one we did together was more of that. Like, hey, let me show you what you're doing as well as make you do an extra round. <laughs> you know how nervous I get standing in front of Diane swinging the kettlebell? I can see it. Oh, are you nervous about that? You better be nice to her, otherwise, she'll accidentally let go. <laughs> All right. 
How are we doing on those reaches, Lewis? <laughs> You're a tad narrow. You're a little bit too inward. So bring them slightly right outside the shoulder. There you go. Good. And then orange is in your armpits. If you haven't learned by now, no, Lewis, that's not the exercise. <laughs> That was boring. That's, that's my exercise today, not you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, how's everyone holding up? Ooh. Okay. Good. <laughs> so you are on five now officially, yes? Yes. Good, because we're doing five total. Four on your own, five including my introductory. Good work, good work. Hear that, Tim? No, what did he say? He said it never done with class. No, you are not doing class, Sethery. <laughs> plank taps, plank reaches. Good job, y'all. Once you finish five, you're about what? Five, yeah, that's about right. I'll let you take a little bit of a break for water, and then I'm going to go through the first, uh, the next set series. <sighs> Pretty swings, people. Pretty swings. Not ugly ones. I am interesting that you all have wonderful swings at home. Yes. That's the spirit. Yeah, of course. Duh. Yes. All right. If you have finished all five rounds, we're going to give everyone a couple minutes to finish. So here's what you're going to give me if you happen to finish. You are going to lay down flat. You are going to give me starfish, starfish, boat, starfish, <coughs> boat, okay? You're going to just work until I get a thumbs up that most everyone has finished. Uh, Seth, that includes you starfishing. I'm supervising Patty. Right. I think Patty is doing just fine. If anyone's going to supervise, it's you. <laughs> Where is anyone going to be supervised? I know what you meant. Yeah, you did. That's right. <sighs> so, starfish, starfish, both. I'm just keep going. You can't stop yet. <sighs> If you stop, I'm gonna make you take laps around your house. <laughs> I know, I can't enforce that. I, I mean, I could, but I can't tell if you just sit there. <sighs> All right, everyone, one last minute, just to make sure everyone is starfishing, starfishing, and both starfishing, one minute of it. Uh -huh. Okay, pick up the pace a little bit. Come on, pick up that pace. Why don't you do it with us? Oh, about that. <laughs> I have no reason why I'm not today. Ideally, Ow. I wanted to go for a run. Today was going to be my run day, but I didn't realize that it was supposed to rain. It's not raining yet. I know, I'm going to rain later. I'm going to run later. Okay, now, it is officially 824, so you guys did a minute of that. All right, you are going to need your kettlebell. Have both of them close by if you have multiples. Here's what we get to do. We have four 
exercises. You're gonna do each exercise for 40 seconds. And then you get 20 seconds to switch exercises. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna just continue in that pattern for 20 minutes. <clears throat> Yay! Okay. Essentially, it's five rounds. It's just on the clock. So, try to contain your excitement. Here's what we're going to do. Out of my way. You have your kettlebell. I'll do it sideways. You are going to deadlift, pull catch, reverse lunge, back down. Deadlift, pull catch. Reverse lunge, okay? You'll do 40 seconds. I'll do it from the front too, just so you can see. Deadlift, okay. reverse lunge. Very simple, okay? You know these. That's the first one. You'll get 20 seconds to switch to a goblet squat with a press, okay? Goblet squat with a press. <clears throat> then you'll get 20 seconds to go to a single arm row, deadlift. Other side, single arm row, deadlift, okay? And you'll get to do that for 40 seconds. Then the last one will be a high plank burpee to a deadlift. High plank burpee to a deadlift. You can even jump, okay? This couch is in the way. What, Seth? The couch is in the way. Um, <laughs> well, you can, we'll modify it. We'll get clever. I'll be you. okay. I'll, be, I'll figure it out. You go that way, I'll do it this way. All right. Ten seconds and we go. First one is the deadlift pull catch reverse lunge. There's another blow. Yeah. Here we go. Deadlift pull catch reverse lunge. Deadlift, full catch. Okay. All right, no moving slow. Chop, chop. Forty seconds will go really, really fast. There you go. Solid lunges, people. Two inches above the ground. Eight seconds. Oh, All right, rest. You're going to rest. 20 seconds. Next one. You're going to goblet squat. Please press. 10 seconds. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two. All right, we go. Squat. Press. Squat. Press. Ribs down on that press. Yeah, I'm gonna do right there. Good, weight in the heels. There you go. When you go to press, watch your ribs popping up. Squeeze your belly buttons really, really tight. All right, 10 seconds. Straddle it so it lines up with your shoes. You're gonna row and then deadlift. Then the other side, row and then deadlift. Five seconds. Four. Back. Two. Here we go. So it's a row, deadlift, other side. Row, deadlift. Now, if your weight is loud, I expect you to move quick. Squeeze your butt cheeks. No back on this exercise. All butt. Make your accordions. Eight seconds. Two, one, press. Okay. Now, 20 seconds, the last one you have is you're gonna do your burpees over your kettlebell. That's what I should have made you do. Burpees 
you can even hop over your kettlebell. Not today. I won't do that. I won't do that. We'll do that next week. Four, three, two, and here we go. So you burpee. Hop your feet in. Deadlift. Burpee over the kettlebell. Hop your feet in. Deadlift. If you want to, you can jump. Perfect. Good job, y'all. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. How, are we tired? Oh, yes. Tired a little bit? So I shouldn't add anything? We'll save it for the end. That's fine. That's fine. I'll give you a little extra time. 40 seconds of rest right here. I'll give you a tad bit longer of rest. And then we're going to start our next round. Y'all ready? Three, two, reverse lunge. Deadlift, pull, catch, go. slow. I don't want to call you out publicly, but 
Uh, Robin, make sure you have oranges in those armpits on that deadlift. Thank you. Same thing, Patty. Don't get sloppy. I see a lot of curvature. Okay, you can rest. Get a little bit of water. I'll give you 40 seconds again. I know, I'm really gracious. Yeah, we still have 12 minutes left. Woohoo! Good time. Right. Now, I'm going to yell at y'all. I'm going to be very strict on my deadlifts this next round out of your burpees, okay? Some of y'all were rounding your backs, and that's a no bueno. No good. Did we lose someone? Amber. I know she it looked like she was doing work, so. All right. Y'all ready? <clears throat> Yes, I knew it. We're going in five, four, three, two. Yellow. Deadlift, full catch, reverse lunge. Deadlift, full catch, reverse lunge. Deadlift, full catch, reverse lunge. Wait a minute. What are we doing? Full catch. I'll do one more. Deadlift, full catch, reverse lunge. There we go, peeps. There we go. And the full catch, reverse lunge. Ow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Reverse lunge is next time, Robin, because you got the squat. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> pause, everyone, pause. What are we doing now? You're uh, resting. We're resting? Yeah, yeah. Why are we going? I don't know. I told you to stop. No, as you got it. Three, two, one. Ready? Goblin squat. Press. Why didn't you stop me? Goblin squat. Press, because she wanted to make you work more. And then she doing this. <laughs> All right, 20 seconds left. <sighs> Good work, 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, yes. All right, take 20 seconds. This is where the kettlebell straddles between your shoelaces. We're going to deadlift row, or excuse me, row, deadlift. Row, deadlift. We're going in five, four, three, one, here we go. Row. Deadlift. Other side. Row. Deadlift. Remember, pack oranges in your armpits. Flat back on that row. Solid work, people. Stand all the way tall. Squeeze them butt cheekies. Now, I will say, I see a couple of people that are bringing that kettlebell in front. That kettlebell needs to go between your feet, right there at your shoelaces. That's going to put your butt in the right position back, not up. Rest, rest, rest. Last one is we're going to do our burpee deadlifts. And this is the one that will be strict on you. When you have your feet in, I want your feet to straddle the kettlebell. So your butt is down and your back is flat. Do not pick up the kettlebell here, otherwise I'll come through the screen. Go! Kirby. Deadlift. Good job, good job. Pack the oranges, Patty. Much better, Patty. Good, Robin. Pack the oranges in your armpits. There you go. Good, Rick. Good, Diane. Good, Lewis. Bad stuff. I didn't see you, Seth. I can't see your deadlift. They're perfect. <laughs> if you know it's bad, it's a problem. All right, you get to rest. All right, y'all. Yeah. You're in there pretty good, yeah? In the red. Nice day. You're in the red? 
I'm in the red. Yay! A little bit longer. All right, y'all, we still have seven minutes of this. Oh. Awesome. Yeah, try to contain your excitement. Catch your breath, catch your breath. I might go for a run. No, Diane, you can run after this. No, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Yellow. That's why I'm not working out today. Is your phone? My legs are so tired after last week. <clears throat> All right, y'all ready? We're starting with the deadlift pull catch reverse lunge, okay? So, rest time is over, everybody. We're going in four, three. Last one. Two, three. Here we go. Deadlift pull catch. Reverse lunge. Deadlift, full catch, reverse lunge. You keep going. Perfect. Now, don't slow down. There we go. Any time you are putting the kettlebell down and up, you're sticking that butt back. Putting oranges in your armpits and squeezing your cheeks forward. We should have the nicest backsides this time of the Rest. 20 seconds to rest. We're going to do our goblet squats with our presses next. Eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three. Here we go. Beep, go. Squat. Press. Squat. Press. Drop your butts down low. And when you press, don't stick that belly button out. Nice job, everyone. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two. All right, you get your box. Nice work. We're going to our rows. I'm going to do it sideways. So you can see how I pull back towards my hip and not towards my boob or my chest. Five, four, three, two. All right, here we go. Row towards the hip, stand up. Other side. Row towards the hip, stand up. And up. If you pull towards the hip, you get better lat engagement. That's what's important there. And then make sure that kettlebell goes between your shoes. It shouldn't be in front. If you go in front, you're going to feel it right there in the lower back. Okay, and then you'll be going and seeing Seth, who is open, he is essential. Five, four, three, two, one, red. All right, y'all, we got burpees one more time. Thank you, came for the plug. Water, what? <sighs> Here we go, in three. Two, one, burpee, feet inside the belt. Flat back, you gotta be intentional. Stick your butt down and out. Nice job, people, 20 seconds. Chiropractor. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Technically, he is above your screen right now. Do I know a decent chiropractor? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know a decent one. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One last round. This is it. And then we're done for the morning. Okay. Any questions? Are you tired? Yes. Yes. All right. Now's the time to suck it up. Make it your best round yet. All right. We're going in four, three, two, and it's party time. Deadlift, pull catch. Reverse. between your shoelaces. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> 10 seconds before we roll. <laughs> and deadlift. Three, two, one. Here we go. Row to the hip. Stand up. Row to the hip. Stand up. Make sure the bell is going between your shoes each rep, okay? If it's in front, that's no bueno. Good work. Stand tall. Good job, y'all. 20 more seconds and you're done with this one. Good work. Good work. Eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two. All right, 20 seconds and our last round of burpees will be it and I won't make you do anything else the rest of the day. Unless anyone wants to meet me for a run later. No, thanks. So, well, that's fine. Technically, I should be six feet away from everyone anyway. Here we go. Three, two, Barbie! Deadlift! You know, I really do owe you all a huge thanks because you all cleaned out this gym and took all the heavy kettlebells. So now I just have to use these little ones and it's quite lovely on my part. Thanks guys. Thanks for taking off for the team. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, you survived. <sighs> Now, who feels like a million bucks? Thank you, Kim. Yeah, y'all feel great. Good. Right on time, too. You got two minutes to spare. Solid work. Y'all, tomorrow's more. Today was strength and conditioning. Tomorrow's going to be body weight and conditioning, but then a little bit of kettlebell at the end. Um, and Jerry says, phew, as in like, phew. Ooh. Get it? All right, two claps on three, and y'all have a wonderful day. Two claps, one, two, three. Bye, y'all.
Happy Tuesday. Bye. Thank you, Jeff. Bye. Have a good day. You guys too.